Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 18th, 2023. Well, this morning we've got an interesting day shaping up, actually a very busy day of earnings, and we've got uh, some news out here today um, adding a little bit of bearish pressure to the market. Um, what we've got going is there was an airstrike that happened to hit a Gaza hospital, um, raising tensions um, over there between Israel and um, Hamas. And now we're seeing oil prices spike dramatically here this morning. Um, we're up over 3% on oil prices. That's adding pressure to the market. We've got bond yields that continue to be problematic here uh, for the market, continuing to um, hold, hold up and, and move higher um, as those yields continue to pressure. Um, a Asian markets last night um, were mixed and pretty much flat. We had um, China come out with better than expected economic growth and retail sales, but they still finished a little bit lower on the day. Worries about their real estate sector over there um, continuing to add pressure. Hong Kong was lower and the rest of the Asia markets were just slightly higher. We've got um, European markets this morning that are um, down across the board, of course, worried about um, earnings, Israel, um, war, um, inflation data that they're concerned about. And here in the US, we're also looking lower this morning. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, try to look at them without a bias, and let's see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. First off, if we take a look at the diamonds here, as you can see, we had a good day yesterday. We popped up here nicely, but we ended up closing, you know, just barely up. And, and, and if it wasn't for the surge right at the end of the day, I mean the last two minutes of the day, we probably would have been just a little bit lower. What was interesting, though, is that yesterday we gapped so substantially lower on um, some of the data that we had, and yet um, those hotter than expected retail sales, and then just came roaring right back um, to the upside, just kind of a relentless buy that went on during the day. So looking at the chart here, as you can see, we've got a very significant level of price resistance above. And we did run up there and give it a kiss, and then we backed away from it um, as if it was made of kryptonite or something and, and uh, the diamonds of Superman. So looking in here, we backed away from that area of the chart. Remember, we have a double whammy of price resistance up here to be paying attention to. So if the bulls can continue to follow through today, then I would look for them to push up into here. And that's going to be the, the big test. Can we, can we break through this level up here? And if we do, maybe up into that downtrend, and that is going to be a pretty substantial test. We're going to need some good data, and, and there's possible, it is very possible, we'll get that good data today. So um, watch that closely up here. Remember, um, what's important on a move like this is not the test of that resistance. What is important, like right here, what we want to see is we want to be able to break through and prove to hold the higher low. When that occurs, then we have an opportunity to get long. When we're pressing up into here, that's an opportunity to be watching for the failure in that next potential move to the downside. So just kind of keep that in mind here on the diamonds. We're really at that major resistance point. This may not be the best time to be buying up stocks because we really haven't rested or pulled back in this relief rally to prove any price supports, which means if if the data comes in bad and the bears were to find inspiration here today, 
then we could move sharply lower quickly. Looking right here, you can see we've got a little tiny bit of price support right through this area of the chart that could hold us here um, if the bears uh, continue to push this morning. If that were to fail, I would suggest we have a chance of coming back down into this little area of the chart to find that next area of support. And then of course you can see where we would go after that if we were to push lower. You'll notice in here that we are hanging on. We've been clinging to this support area of the 200 day moving average, but it's very interesting how we've been kind of wearing that 34 EMA almost as a hat. We cannot seem to uh, finish the day breaking through that level up there above that 34 EMA. So we'll want to watch that pretty carefully um, if we do pop up toward that 50, which provides us that level of resistance that we talked about here with that downtrend and price resistance in the chart. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. Also, we pushed up here struggling against this pretty substantial level of price resistance in the chart. The good news is we broke this really sharp downtrend and what we're trying to do right now, and this is a very bullish looking uh, pattern setup here if it can hold, and that is we are setting up that first higher low after breaking this downtrend. So we have a bullish pattern in here, but I want to point out that we've been struggling with this resistance. One, two, three, four, five, six and now potentially seven days struggling against this potential resistance and seemingly unable to uh, find the energy, the bullish energy to break through there as we've been whipsawing back and forth in this price range. Now today may be the day that we find that inspiration. If the bulls do pop up through here, then I'm gonna be looking for them to move on up. And we might find some additional little resistance areas in this area right in here, but they'd be very, very weak as you can see. Not much in here until we stretch right on up into this downtrend in the SPY. Now, once again, keeping in mind that as we push up there to the downtrend, we've seen these moves before where we stretch into a downtrend. You wanna be careful chasing long stocks into that downtrend just in case that happens to be the failure point of the market. Now, if we are unable to break through this resistance up here and the bears come back into play right now, uh, today, and we push back down, I would be watching a little bit of price support right through there. Notice how we've got um, just a few little candles in there showing us a tiny little bit of price support. If we were to fail through there, however, I think we're coming back down to this price level in here. And you can see there is not a huge amount of price support in that area of the chart. So would have to cross our fingers and hope that would hold because if that fails, then we're coming back down into here. So just be kind of careful. It's interesting that um, as that uh, Goldman Sachs came out yesterday and placed a price target for the end of the year, the S&P 500 at 3,900. So um, that would mean that we have, we, we've got some real trouble ahead if that's what they believe uh, to be the case. So just kind of keep that in mind. Let's take a look at our QQQ. Our QQQ continuing in a downtrend and we have struggled up against that downtrend area, that resistance area, just not able to break through it yet. You can see we've got a little teeny tiny intraday um, little downtrend that's going on here. We just haven't been able to push on through that area. But if the bulls find inspiration today, um, then let's look for them to push back up here and retest this area in the chart to see if they can um, um, push on through it at this time. If they come right up here and uh, find that rejection again, watch that closely. It could reject relatively hard as we've seen many times before when we can't break a resistance area. Um, sometimes those sellers get emboldened and they really start to push. Now, if the bears can find inspiration today, continue this little slide to the downside, Look at this little level right here as a place of test. We've tried down in here a couple of times. Watch that area right there to see if we can hold that as a price support. If that were to fail, there really isn't much other choice in here. We're probably coming back down here to test these lows. 
So keep an eye on the QQQ today. We also want to make um, make mention that we're struggling along the five or excuse me 50 day moving average. A failure here at the 50 day moving average would be pretty critical. So we need to get up there and we need to hold um, up there. Um, we'll have to wait and see if the data is going to support that move or not. I had forgotten to mention on the SPY the moving averages, but if you'll notice in here, we're struggling against that 50 day. We ran up there and gave it a look yesterday and then turned around and said, mm, yeah, not really sure that we can challenge that yet. So watch that area closely as well. Let's take a look at our IWM today. IWM had a really good day. In fact, the biggest move um, of all the indexes, which is interesting because it is the weakest of the indexes overall, but they had a nice surge here in IWM. We have a double bottom or a potential W formation here in the chart shaping up. If we can break the top side of that, if the bulls can push on through there, then we have that opportunity that we could push on up and retest some of these resistance levels and downtrend here in the chart. So watch that carefully if those bulls can be inspired. However, if the bears are inspired, we do want to recognize the fact that we could find resistance right here along that area of the chart. And if I come to this little high point right here and draw down, you can see we may have just um, eased the downtrend slope here just a little bit. If the bears were to continue to press to the downside, um, then I think down in here is where we're likely to go. And if that doesn't hold, well, it gets ugly. So um, watch that closely on our moving averages. You can see 50 is crossed down through the 200. We are well below our 50 and 200s. Uh, 200 level, a very oversold condition in IWM, but we're just not finding that energy yet to move back up. You'll want to notice that our 20 day moving average and our 34 EMA have been dropping pretty quickly to provide resistance to the upside as well. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our uh, VIX here on the day. Our VIX, well, just kind of spun around here yesterday. We tried to move down. What was interesting is with all of that bullishness that we saw trying to come back up, we really didn't get a major response in the VIX. So we're continuing to hold this upside trend, at least at the moment, just kind of resting in this pattern. The good news is, is we, we didn't break back above this and hold. Um, and we um, have not seen a, a test down in here to really encourage the bulls. So the bears not so encouraged, the bulls not so encouraged. We're just kind of resting in here trying to figure out what comes next in the market. Can we move forward? So watch that carefully here. Um, there is that opportunity if the bulls are engaged, we break that trend here today. If the bears engage, we hold that trend and maybe move up. Um, raising that level of fear in the market. So keep an eye on the VIX. Let's take a look at our T2122. Interestingly enough, while we were pushing really hard um, mid-afternoon yesterday, our T2122 was up here. We were up in the bearish reversal zone here of the chart, and it was not look and it was looking like we were going to just continue that stretch right on up but as the afternoon went along we saw those bears come back in pulling things back just a little bit ended up closing our t2122 up here above 80 percent which says that if we have some uh, bullish reason to push to the upside today with the data that we've got coming, we could push right up into here quite easily in the chart. So watch that carefully and we've got plenty of data to provide that inspiration today. If the bears, however, take that data and find bearish inspiration in it, what we have to recognize is we've opened a pretty big opportunity to the downside because we've stretched so much without any really hold. Um, it, we didn't come back and test any lows or anything like that, that we've opened that door for that big pullback to come in the market. It would be very painful, I think, for a lot of folks. So just be careful. If we take a look at our T2122, 
2108. The percentage of stocks above the 40 day moving average. We did have a nice little push up yesterday. As you can see, we've got a bit of an inverted head and shoulders pattern showing in here. We're trying to move on higher in that chart. Um, we are pushing back up, breaking this downtrend in the chart and holding it as a higher low but unfortunately we really have a lot of resistance in this chart above so we're going to need something special to move us on through in that chart to start breaking through some of these resistance levels and pushing up into those higher resistance levels of the chart about 34 percent of the stocks above their 40-day moving average if we so that is a nice improvement um, if we take a look at our t2107 well t2107 didn't do quite as well we continue to suffer just a little bit we, we might be trying to sneak out from underneath that downtrend in here this is the percentage of stocks above the 200-day moving average notice we've got considerable price resistance levels still above in that chart that we need to start working on and so far we just haven't been able to get much done 36 37 percent of the stocks holding above their 200 day which still puts us in a very bearish condition overall we just need some inspiration to uh, kind of relieve some of that pressure to the upside if the bears find that inspiration however just be really careful it could move sharply lower and then if we take a look at our T2101, here's our culprit. One of the reasons why we're struggling so much to move higher. And it's largely due to the fact that over 90%, about it's about 98% of the companies are in their blackout period, which means they can't buy their stock back. And that's been one of the big drivers of um, market energy here is companies buying their own stock back up. And um, uh, those buybacks have just been super strong the last two quarters here of the market. And unfortunately, they're not able to do that right now. They've got to be quiet. So what we're seeing here is we're seeing this is the absolute market breadth chart. We're continuing to see the absolute breadth on the buy waves of the market. We just kind of sputter. Um, we don't have enough um, energy to push it up. So on that buy wave yesterday, we saw the T2101, the breadth of the market, continuing to decline. You'll notice we're pushing back down towards some of these low areas in T2101. Um, so watch that closely. Just not enough breadth to move the market along with all those companies um, deciding not to buy, well, not deciding, they can't buy any of their stock back. Now that will start to relieve here toward the end of the week. So some of them will start coming out from underneath that restriction. So watch carefully uh, for that time period. Maybe the breadth will start picking up then. Let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today. Our economic calendar has a few things that we're definitely going to want to be paying attention to this morning. We've got mortgage applications coming in this morning. We're going to hear from housing starts and permits. They are expecting that one to move higher, um, uh, more housing starts um, to, uh, to be coming in and permits dropping just a little bit on their numbers. So watch that closely. That would be um, bullish for the market potentially. It could also be inflationary. Um, we're, we're going to have the petroleum status number and that's going to be real critical today seeing oil spike in prices this morning. If we um, see those oil supplies dwindling, if we see those distillate um, numbers falling here we could definitely see oil prices continue to surge on that number if we see builds in those supplies then that would suggest the consumer is weakening here just a little bit and perhaps that would ease some of those pressures on um, um, our energy prices so watch that carefully here remember rising energy prices is inflationary it goes directly into producer prices and it goes directly into consumer prices everything we do goes up in price when energy prices go up so kind of keep that in mind we've got a, uh, a four-month bill auction here today we've got Waller speaking William speaking Bauman speaking Hawker speaking and Cook speaking here today so lots of fed conversation as we build up to the jerome powell comments here tomorrow 
um, at noon so you'll want to watch that noon Eastern anyway so watch carefully for that we've got a 20-year bond auction here that would probably be the most notable of the day as we continue to see pressure in those bond yields here today so watch that close Treasury International Capital and Beige Book this afternoon likely going to be pretty much ignored as we start thinking about the jobless claims the Philly Fed and existing home sales and Jerome Powell's comments on Thursday Let's take a look at our earnings calendar, and our earnings calendar is a busy one today. There's no way I can cover all of these today. The video will be just way too long. So um, I want to encourage everyone to click the link just below the title of the video. There's a link down there that will take you back to the morning blog, and on the blog you can get the list of notables in there. I'll go through um, a few of these really, really quick. First off, we've got um, Abbott Labs that will be reporting today. We're going to hear from Alcoa here today, so kind of keep that in mind. Um, we've got, whoops, fingers don't want to work. Um, uh, Discovery Financial will be reporting today. We're going to hear from Kinder Morgan today. We've got um, Las Vegas Sands that will be reporting today. Morgan Stanley, one of the big major banks, reporting. We're going to hear from a couple of kind of the pseudo tech um, area of the market. Um, Netflix will be after the bell today. Keep an eye on that. We're going to hear from State Street. We're going to hear from Travelers. We're going to hear from Tesla. And last but not least, Zion. Uh, bank will be reporting. So kind of keep that in mind. We've got quite a few reports and some big notables that do have the potential to move the market today that could really um, either um, inspire the bulls or the bears. If we take a look at um, uh, some stocks that could be setting up for today. If you guys could do me a favor before I do that, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find those video, this video today to be useful and worthy, if you could do me that favor, and that would be click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. Doesn't cost you anything. It just helps to support the channel. And I know it's a pain in the neck to do it every single day, but um, it, it helps me put these videos out every single day when I continue to see that support of the effort. So thank you so much, everyone, who does take the time to do that. Remember, it doesn't have to be a big, long, elaborate comment. It can be just simply you know, an emoji, and that counts. Thank you, everyone, for supporting the channel. I truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up. And remember, folks, these aren't recommendations to buy or sell any security. Make sure you do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful in this market. A lot of volatility in here to be um, uh, to be dealing with as we run in through all of these earnings. So just make sure that you are planning your trades based on your rules making sure that you're paying very, very close attention to your risk guidelines. Never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Evaluate them yourself. First off, a trade that I'm kind of watching pretty closely here. I've got an alert on it. It popped it yesterday. I chose not to buy it just because we were such a, the last couple of days, it's just been really strange price action here in the market. So I waited on this. Um, notice right in here, CRM, trying to put in this little higher low. Pretty good looking chart. Obviously, we still have a downtrend here that um, is of concern in CRM. But if this can hold in here, look for that opportunity that that might move on through to the upside. I'd keep a pretty close eye on that. Um, I've been watching Intel, and unfortunately, Intel just hasn't been able to get her done. Um, we've been pressing against this big resistance up here. Watching that closely, you can see we press and press and haven't been able to get up there, but we still have an upside trend that can still give us that hope that we may hold in here and move on through. Now, I do want to point out that this is going to be reporting earnings on the 26th, so it may have to wait until that before it makes that decision to the upside. Um, so watch that closely. Seeing stocks like WBA, 
Um, as you guys know, I, I talked about this one, alerted on it. We're still holding that trend. We popped through that resistance, pulled back pretty hard. But as you can see, if we can hold this area in here, look for that next opportunity for those bulls to push on through to the upside. It's been interesting the last few days, we've been seeing a recovery in some of the defensive sector stocks. I wouldn't say they're ready for prime time yet. They're not ready to buy. Still in that downtrending move, but you can see right here, we made that little higher low in that chart. Let's see if we can break these downtrends and really show some bullishness here in some of these defensive sector stocks. There may be some good recovery plays that could be coming in these. These are very oversold in the market. So watch them closely. Um, take a look at um, AMD. Now AMD was giving me some pretty strong hope that this was going to be very, very bullish breaking through this um, channel. But boy, we have really struggled here. We pushed up through this resistance in the chart, pushed up through and then we've lost it. So I think it's still worth keeping an eye on and watching this. But what we want this to do now is cross back above that little support area and prove that it can hold in there. And then we might have that upside opportunity in the chart. You'll notice this was our upside trend and we have now failed that trend. So a little bit of concern here on AMD. Um, it, it, just, it just needs to do a little bit better in the performance to see if it's going to break higher in that chart. Keep an eye on AMD. You might wanna be keeping an eye on some of these really big tech giants as well. Um, Google going to report on the 24th so uh, you got to make your decisions on that but watch that closely here we broke through resistance on Google holding that higher low that looks like a pretty good opportunity that that could move on higher on its earnings event if we take a look at Apple Apple just not so much you can see here in Apple we did pop through that downtrend and we talked about that early on on the indexes how we can pop through that downtrend and then just completely reverse so you don't want to be chasing into those downtrend areas or resistance in the chart and you'll notice that Apple has also broke back down failing back down through that little area right in there so what we have to see here in Apple there's that trend break that's going on here in Apple Apple if this rallies back I would be watching for the next opportunity short if it continues to fail down in here or consolidates over I would still be looking for the next opportunity short um, as this waits for its earnings reports coming up so we've got a mix here in some of these charts um, yeah keep a close eye on that um, we've been seeing some strong retail bounce here the last couple of days Kohl's pushing back up strongly here in the market, trying to break that downtrend. Now make it prove that it can hold a higher low. If it can hold a higher low, there may be some opportunities here to the upside. So keep an eye on that. And then I would also keep an eye on some of these um, um, insurance stocks. They have just been racing to the upside. Um, Allstate needs a rest or pullback. Um, Aflac needs a rest or pullback. Uh, Travelers, uh, big strong move here. A lot of volatility here this morning around its earnings event. But if it can hold this higher low in here, start breaking these downtrends, then we might start to see um, some of these insurance companies turning around and coming to the upside. They've been very oversold, so they met, that means they've got some pretty good upside potential if they can get moving in that direction. So with that, guys, I'm running this video a little bit too long. Make sure you're keeping a close eye on that energy sector today as well. Could be some interesting moves happening there on energy with oil prices spiking this morning. So everyone take care, be safe, have a wonderful day. I want to wish you all the best in your trading. And I'll look forward to seeing you right back here, right and early Thursday morning. Everyone, I wish you all the very best. Take care now.